professional singer. I mainly work with big bands. When I do work solo with piano, one of the things I really miss is backing vocals. So I thought I would try this. I know it says on the box, Harmony Singer 2 battery powered vocal effects stomp box with guitar controlled harmony, but I don't see why a piano wouldn't work as well. Oh, it's blue. How cool does that look? three main knobs. Harmony, a reverb knob, and the knob in the middle, the level, I'm assuming is how much of the harmony voices or voice that you want. Tone button underneath activates the knobs because I suppose you could use this for harmonies without having those effects. And this of course it's a stomp box so I'm going to put it underneath my feet next to my pedal. That turns it on and off. Okay this particular pedal is the Harmony Singer 2. This actually allows you to have a battery, so you don't need to use power. It actually doesn't come with a power cable anyway, although it's a very standard power cable by the look of it. So you can either use a 9 volt battery or you can use 4 double A's, which is pretty handy. Better put those in. So I'm going to go to the back, open it up and put the batteries in. I'm going to use um, 4 double A batteries only because that's all I've got. This is just my home setup, so it's a little Roland and it's perfect just for two inputs. So it looks like you need basically double the cables you usually would have. So you have two mic leads, which are XLR, with one of these on either end, and um, two piano or guitar leads with this on either end. So my piano cable just happens to be this woven one. I'm going to put one end in the back of the piano and the other end goes here where it says inst in. Then I'm going to take the other similar kind of cable, put it in the other end of the pedal where it says inst through, and then put the other end of this cable into the PA. Then I've got one end of my XLR cable into the microphone, goes into the back of the pedal where it says mic. Then I take the other XLR cable, that end goes into the back of the pedal where it says out and the other end goes into the PA. So this is what it looks like when it's all linked up. You can see this is the piano. So I've never used one of these before. I've seen people use them. Better turn everything on. The piano's on, little PA's on. This will need to turn on too. And there is the power switch. So you can see the tone button has got a red light on it. So I'm going to assume that means that the reverb part of the system is on. So there's room, club or hall reverb. Obviously, they will get bigger as you go. We're in a room, so let's just go for room. All sorts of little images around the knob. You can see there's either a picture of two little lines above the circle, one little line close to the circle, then one further away. We're going for like a third and a fifth and the, the typical harmony, depending on what kind of chords you're playing. And you have all sorts of choices. You can have one harmony or you can have multiple and they can be above or below or a mix of both, which is amazing. Because there's reverb on the pedal, I've gone and turned down the reverb on my little amp. I'm going to go around in a circle and move the knob every little while to the next type of harmony so you can hear what kind of things it can do. I'm going to start off the two harmonies below. I know it's too late today and I'm I think 
I'm going to have fun with this. So baby, talk to me like lovers do. Oh.